will close after the state refuses to send them patients. And the move comes after some serious allegations of physical and sexual abuse within the Rock River Academy. Eyewitness News reporter Alexis McAdams has been following the story for weeks. And she talked with former patients about what they say was worse than being in prison. Nick Mimi, during the Eyewitness News investigation into Rock River Academy, I examined dozens of police reports and records, which detail daily life inside of the facility. I also sat down with two former residents that described the horrors behind the academy walls where they were allegedly physically, emotionally, and sexually abused. <laughs> Shocking allegations of horror behind these walls at Rock River Academy. Claims of sexual abuse of teenage girls. The staff was having sex with whoever they could have sex with, who was vulnerable. They had bring the girls snacks, candies, cakes, whatever the girls wanted. Weed, cigarettes. Residents selling sex. Broadway, Auburn Street, Fairgrounds, Auburn Manor, yes. Prostituting in uh, um, Auburn High School uh, parking lot. Even physical abuse and dozens of fights daily. It was a lot of girls' arms got broke, legs, ankles. My finger got broke from trying to get restrained because I was trying to protect myself. Fayshawn Petty says she saw it all at just 15 years old when she was sent to Rock River Academy, a 59-bed residential center for girls with behavioral and mental problems. Petty says her mom got a new boyfriend and kicked her out of the house. She had nowhere to go except into DCFS custody. I was always calling my DCFS worker, tell them that these people abused me. I'm always calling my mommy, even though she left me out to the woods. I'm calling my daddy, telling them, they, they is abusing me in here. Can y'all just please take me out this place? They look at us like we're animals. Darnella Campbell was just 16 when she was sent to Rock River after her mom died. The memories of her stay still haunt her years later. A lot of fights, uh, a lot of restraints, a lot of males flirting with girls. Both girls remember the day they arrived at Rock River Academy like it was yesterday. Petty says she was beaten and assaulted by other girls with no help from the staff. All the girls was like attacking me. I'm not talking about like verbally attacking. I'm talking about like attack, like punching your face, kick you and staff. They was not helping. She says fights and even riots broke out daily. I could say 15 to 20 fights each day. A log of police calls obtained by Eyewitness News appears to back that up. Page upon page of over 350 police calls to the facility in the past four years. The latest just two weeks ago. Several for assaults between girls. At least eight for sex offenses like rape, fondling and sodomy. And not just among girls. Residents describe facility staff flirting with the girls and trying to have sex with them, allegedly targeting their residents that had mental problems first. They have sex with the girls inside Rock River, with the girls that's really mentally slow too. Males flirting with me, saying what they would do to me. They say one of them was Ellis Simmons, a convicted child sex offender who at one time worked at Rock River. They said he didn't touch nobody, but it was plenty of girls that said that he touched them. And then there were the drugs. A Chicago Tribune investigation found that staff administered psychotropic drugs like Thorazine at rates far above similar youth facilities. The girls say they were knocked out for hours at a time from the meds. And they just came in there, picked me up, and shot me in the butt with that stuff. I swear I was asleep for four days. Some people are put straight to sleep. Some people... It didn't put me to sleep. Minnie became desperate to find a way out. About a dozen girls from Rock River were allowed to attend Auburn High School. That's where Petty says many girls turned to prostitution, selling sex and saving the cash for the day they escaped from Rock River. When I left Rock River, I was trying to survive. So yes, I was one of the ones that left and started prostituting. Yes, please do not send any more children to Rock River at all. I wouldn't even send my dog there. Rock River Academy says the recent hold placed upon their facility by DCFS put them in a situation where they can no longer operate, forcing them to close by April. DCFS says they're disappointed in what's happened at the Academy and they're focusing on ensuring the smooth transition and appropriate placement 
of all the girls currently housed there. There's so many questions. You wonder, could further legal action be coming against staff with these allegations or, yeah. you know, so it sounds like this is far from over. Very shocking to hear all these accounts. Oh my gosh, and, yeah. absolutely. All right, thanks, Alexis. Doesn't show up.